how to create a beautiful high contrast photo engraving without dark or light spots, how do you find the perfect resolution, watch the whole video and by the end you will know how to make a great engraving. My name is David, this is Virmer. Remember to check your subscription to the channel and here we go. So, let's take an image and make it stay with us as long as possible. We can prepare the image in two different ways, Photoshop or EasyCAD. You can choose the option that is more convenient for you. Let's start with Photoshop. Open the photo in the application. In the image size menu, set the DPI in the resolution field and convert it to black and white using grayscales. Attention, depending on the material, you might need to invert colors. For example, a marker on black aluminum will engrave everything that is black in white. Now we need to open the exposure menu. There we need the gamma slider. We need to turn it up a little so that the clusters of black dots are not so dense. Unfortunately, everything here is ad hoc and in time you will learn to adjust it by eye. With our image, it works best. So, save the file in bitmap format to be able to open it later in EasyCAD. EasyCAD. Open the file in the program. If the photo is in color, you can convert it to black and white using the gray function. Next, we need to set the DPI, which is easily done in a special field called Fixed DPI. Next, we need the bitmap menu, which is located behind the Expand button. There are many important and useful things here. Firstly, we can use the brightness sliders to adjust the gray to suit the image. There is also a function called Disable Mark Low Gray Point. This function helps EasyCAD to understand which shades of gray do not need to be processed. This means that the machine won't engrave the gray point lower than the one that you set. Now we move on to the settings for the engraving itself. Settings. EasyCAD has a drill mode function that you should turn on when engraving photos. The drill mode is responsible for the dot engraving time. This means that the higher this value is, the darker the engraving will be, and the lower the value, the lighter the engraving. We have set the value to MS. Now let's turn on pixel power adjust and open power map. You will see a menu like this where you can see which power corresponds to which shade. The value 0 corresponds to the brightest and so on. Here you can make your own settings based on your image. This means that you can make several test engravings. First, make one without changing anything. Then, if you see light or dark spots, you can use this menu to darken or lighten them by changing the power value opposite them. For example, set the laser power to 5, 20% when the gray value is 0. A gray value of 255 corresponds to the blackest part of the image and 100% of the power. You can also change this value to a smaller one, so that the blackest part is not burned too much by the laser. Next, we need to disable the default parameters and set our own. A few test engravings will help you to adjust the parameters for your machine. We have an FLTT 30 watts marker, so we set speed 500 mm per second, power 40% and frequency 30%. Let's see the result, see how it turned out, give us a like if you did it too. And if you have any questions, write in the comments, we'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future tutorials. Soon we'll have a video breakdown of how to find the perfect DPI. That's all for now. This is Virman, my name is David. See you in the next video.